Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be turning these two inexpensive dresses that I have that somebody gave to me a while ago into something that looks a little more expensive. So I just wanted to show you that you can take things from your closet and turn it into something nice like this. All right. So, so before we get started though, do not forget to like and subscribe. All right. So for the first part, I'm just going to be taking this bodycon midi dress that I have here and I'm going to cut it a little bit below the waist so that I can save that part for later and maybe make a cute crop top out of it. Or if you wanted to make a cute two piece set, but what I'm gonna be doing is just taking and using the bottom part. So I decided where I wanted the beginning to begin of the skirt part of the dress and I'm just gonna cut there. I'm just gonna lay it out real nice and flat so that I have a even cut. So you wanna cut it as even as possible so that both, if you're gonna use it for a crop top, you can have that later. And if you wanted to use it for a skirt, you know, you have an even line. But again, I just wanted to show you that you can use it to make a two piece set. You would just fold the hem under there and fold the waist there and then you would have a cute little crop top set. So now that I have my bottom part, I'm going to go on to the top part. I picked this one because the gold, even though it is inexpensive, it gives it a more luxe feel. And when you put it together, it also gives it a little retro vibe because everything now is that retro feel. So everybody's going back to like the 70s and the 80s and so forth. So I wanted to make something that was reminiscent of that time. So what I'm doing here is just again, laying it flat and I'm gonna cut just a little bit below the zipper. You don't wanna cut on the zipper, but just a little bit below the zipper so that I can have that and have that opening because it is a really tight dress. So now you have that piece. Again, you could use this as a cute little crop top, but I'm gonna be attaching the two pieces together. But before I do that, I just wanted to open up the back there where the straps attach because I wanted to do something different with these straps. I did have an, an idea at first, but then I changed it at the end. And that's the good thing about making your own clothes and changing up your own things. You can do it to suit your style and how you want it. Okay, so once I've opened that up, then what I'm gonna do is just make sure that everything looks good. So you can just lay it out and play around with it. So I think they line up good. And then now I wanted to add a little opening to the front because I do like a keyhole. But the thing with a keyhole is you have to be careful. You do not wanna cut it too big, especially on stretch fabric like this, because once you put it on, it's gonna begin to pull. So I'm just gonna do a little cut and I'm gonna cut it a little bit below the neckline so that it doesn't open up the neckline there. All right, so now I have that done and I cut through both legs is the lining and the top part of the fabric again I'm just playing around with it to see how it looks and then I have the bottom piece here of the dress and I wanted to incorporate that into the bottom piece but I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do it so I was playing around I was like do I do patches do I do like a color block look so I played around with it until I got an idea in my head of how I wanted to like And honestly, I went back and forth with this part for a while before I decided on how I wanted the final look to look. But this is the good thing about reusing your old clothes or using thrift flip things. It's you're making it your own and you're customizing it your way. So you can have fun and you can play around with it. So now that I have that part done, I'm gonna go back on to the top part. What I'm gonna do is pin the two layers together because remember I have a lining there and I have the initial fabric. So I'm gonna pin those together and then just do a top stitch close to the edge, but not on the edge of that so that I have that part done. And then I'm gonna flip it over and go to the back and also reposition the straps. Once I did the top stitch there though, you can see that I came back in and then I tuck those raw edges in. So you're just gonna tuck them around so that you don't see them when you're done and you're gonna try to sew those as close down as you can so that they don't fray up. And then now I'm gonna position the straps. At first I positioned them far out there, but then when I put it back on, 
I saw that it was going to be a little bit snug around the neck, so I changed that. So you want to play around with it before you do anything final. And you can just put it back on yourself and you can see. And this is a good idea to use with any of your clothes in your closet. So you can remake or reuse any of your old clothes in your closet and make like cute little crop tops, different little sets, different little things. You don't have to make a party dress. You can make whatever you want with your stuff. All right, so now that I've done the top part, I'm gonna go on to the bottom part here. So for the bottom part, this is relatively easy. Um, you just have to play around with the pinning of it and stuff. So I sewed up the bottom part there because um, of the hem, I wanted it to not look rough. And I cut all the way down to right before where the hem began because I didn't wanna worry about lining the hem back up when I was done doing this. So then what I'm doing is just basically laying the ruffle part in and because it's longer than the actual skirt, I'm just going to kind of gather it up in there as I'm pinning it. So I'm doing like little baby pleats, but it's not a real pleat, you know, it's just ruffling it up in there so that everything lines up together when I'm done. And now that I'm done pinning everything, I'm just going to go and I'm going to sew it all together. I'm going to use a serger and my sewing machine, but if you don't have a serger, you don't have to worry about that part, especially with knit because knit doesn't tend to fray like woven fabric does. All right. So now that I've done that and I've turned it inside out, you can see how it looks. You can leave it just like that, but I wanted it to have a more like ruffle kind of gathering detail, but you can see when it drapes, it hangs so it doesn't look that you know, it doesn't protrude out that much as it is right there when it's laying down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some elastic and a thin strip of elastic. Um, if you have wider elastic, you can cut it into a thin strip and you can see like, you know, I'm going to stretch the elastic out as I sew it on. So I'm going to leave the fabric the same. I'm not going to pull the fabric when I'm sewing it. I'm just going to pull the elastic and give it a little tug so that when it's done, it all gathers together. And you can see there once I'm done, it has that little gather effect. And you can do this DIY with other clothes in your closet too. Like I'm saying, you can remake anything in your closet to something cuter or just something different if you're tired or something, you know. Or you can go to the thrift store and you can get some cute little finds there. Like if you find a good print or anything and just making it into something else. All right. So now the last thing to do is you're going to attach the two pieces together right so being that you left your hem and all that and stuff you don't have to worry about going back and hemming so i'm just going to line up first the sides to each side so each side seam i'm going to line up with the bottom of the skirt and the bottom of the shirt and i'm going to place those together and then i lined up the center back so i found the center back of the skirt and i lined it up with the center back of the shirt and i'm making sure i'm pinning it below the zipper you can put a little bit above the zipper but you want to make sure that you don't go too much into the zipper because you want to be able to open it up comfortably and then for this part you just want to make sure you lay out that ruffle piece at the top because you don't want that raw edge hanging there so you want to make sure you line that up in your seam too and again i'm just doing a little pleating with that so that that's all in there and it has that still gathered effect. Once you're done with the pinning part, you wanna turn it and make sure before you sew it so that you, know, you don't have to go back and take any stitches out or anything like that. So you wanna make sure, and then you wanna go over it and you wanna insert, like sew it closed. And that is it for that one. And then you can try it on and make sure it fits good. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you were inspired to make some cute things out of things in your closet or make a cute party dress for when all of this is over and you're ready to go out. All right, and I will see you in the next video. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Bye.